Hey, Dean Zagadian. Um, I told you I was going to tell you how to get apps, and that's what I'm going to do now. First, you're going to get the Homebrew browser, which will allow you to download just about any web, or app sorry, to your Wii without having to switch your SanDisk card around a lot. I mean, there's some stuff that you will have to do for that, but don't worry about it. Okay, first of all, you're going to need to go to webrew.com. It's basically Wikipedia for Wii, which I'll be showing you now. Let's get a better view, shall we? Go to W-I-I-B-R-E-W, Webrew. Go to a Google search, or Yahoo, whatever you do. Go to Webrew, the first one, usually. Should look like this. Has a little icon that's very recognizable. Anyways, you're wanna you're gonna want to go to uh, applications. Oh, let's check that. That might be it. Okay. Well, yeah, this is it. Okay. Homebrew browser, right there. Oh, sorry. I wasn't holding the camera very well. I apologize for that. But anyways, you find apps on the page, or you can type it in in a little search in a computer with internet access to get this. You can search it right here. All you have to do is look up Homebrew, right here, browser. Pretty simple. Now you click that app, and your SanDisk will need to be in the computer. And once again, you cannot use the Wii to download this. And just a little disclaimer for me to throw in. I will not be responsible for any breaking of your Wii or... Which is a small chance. Now, anyways. You will go over to the side. It will tell you all about the Homebrew Browser. The latest version. You will click Download right here. Let's get a better view of that. You will click Download. And you'll, you want to download that to your um, desktop. And then I'll tell you how to get that onto your SanDisk card in just a second. Next card in your port. Okay. Anyways, open. As you can See, I have a lot, a lot of stuff on my SanDisk card. I've been really going at the hacks. Anyways, uh, when you do finally download the Homebrew browser, I'm going to create a new folder on my desktop just to show you what it would look like. Okay. Uh, just to uh, remind you, the uh, folder will be, be a pretend uh, SanDisk card so I can show you what it, what it should look like. Okay. Like last time, you should still have your private folder on here. Now, uh, you're going to need to create a file called apps. Uh, actual file. Go to New Folder, go to APPS Apps, your private folder and apps that you just created. Create an apps folder by yourself, it won't show up by itself. You're going to open your apps, since there's nothing in it, you're going to, you know that uh, homebrew browser I just told you to download? Well, I want you to extract that into your apps folder. Now, like I said, extract to your SanDisk card. You're going to see the homebrew browser right there that I put on my root SanDisk card. Well, you're going to need to switch that to apps. Once it's in apps, 
you just take it on from there. There. And that's how you get the Homebrew Browser on your Wii. Now, I'll show you how to download them, which is incredibly easy. I'm sure you'll be able to figure it out, but this is a tutorial, and I intend to make it simple. Simplest there is, actually. Okay, you're going to take your Sandus card out. You're going to want to put it back in your Wii. And I yammer on for a long amount of time about none. Let's see. Okay, you go to your homebrew channel. Press start. Now, my homebrew channel is going to have a lot more uh, apps than yours will at the first. The only thing you'll have is the homebrew browser. But because I've already downloaded a whole bunch of stuff, it's going to be on there. So don't let that give you the illusion that you'll start off with stuff. But it'll take you all about five minutes to get everything I have. Except for the WAD manager. You'll have to watch my next video for that. Okay, see? This is what you'll start off with. The homebrew browser. Just click load. Should say initializing. And all that stuff. All this black screen is normal, so don't panic over it. Retrieving homebrew list. Blah dee da. Anytime. No, I don't want to update right now. There you go. As you can see, there's games, which I'm in right now, emulators, which allows you to. Is another way for you to get free video games, but I haven't, I have yet to figure out how those work. A little too complicated for me. Popular. Uh, install DVDs to your, or a DVD installer so you can play DVDs on your Wii. There's also media, uh, media players right here, which allows you to play DVDs, uh, re Sandus cards, uh, music. Here. Um, let's see. Oh, Wii Radio, that's a fun one. I suggest you get that. Uh, create another video about that. But anyways, I'll show you the, the homebrew browser is the best way, but you can also go back to the, uh, what do you call it? The, uh, Weebrew.com and find other apps that are not on there, which there are some. Download them the same way. And put, remember, always to put your apps that you download from Webrew inside your apps folder. Otherwise, it won't work. Okay, there's my apps tutorial. Hope you liked. Subscribe if you will. Uh, tell your friends. Be careful. Once again, I will not take responsibility for anything that may occur that you did not expect. Uh, like a broken Wii, but that's very slim, just to remind you. I just don't want to get sued. Um, I'm not telling you to do this. I know it sounds goofy, but I do not condone cheating, just so I can save my own butt. Okay? Well, have fun. Uh, look for my next game, so, or my next video, so you can get free games. Uh, like classic. I can't get you, like, new games for the Wii. That'd be silly. But like 1980 games, you want some of those? I can get you that. No problem. That's another app that we'll be working on, but that's a whole other story. Uh, 